Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I want to bring you some breaking news. And it's breaking in a sense that it is a continual pattern here. Um, Iran has just had a major fire at one of their steel factories. Uh, there was a report there was an explosion. I can't verify that. I haven't seen anything more on the internet. But definitely a serious piece of uh, infrastructure was damaged. And in the last month, there's been so many of these explosions and fires. They had a chemical plant, they had a refinery, I think they had a pipeline, uh, they had a drone factory, they had their ships sank. Um, so Iran is a mess right now. Economically, um, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of turmoil inside the country. There's a lot of people that do not like the way the country's going. Uh, they're more secular. Uh, they don't like the hardline fundamental Islamic um, leaders. Uh, so I, I hate to have problems there, uh, but if this can cause um, a turnover, a coup, a change in government, that would be awesome in Iran. I Iran, if you study history, has not always been like this. Um, so hopefully there can be a change. That would be really good for us. Um, it'd really be good for the Iranian people. Probably wouldn't be too good for the military industrial complex because they might lose some money there because of the war. I truly believe Israel's behind some of this. Um, do I have solid proof? No, but it's, you know, one, two, three, after that, it's, it's not coincidental. So hopefully we have a, a change in Iran. It'd be the best thing. Um, those people live under uh, a government that they don't like. There's a lot of people that do not like the hardcore uh, Islamic beliefs. Uh, they're still, they believe in Islam, but some of them are very secular. So hopefully this doesn't cause more of a problem. It's sort of similar to what Israel did in Gaza. They really wanted them, is for the Israelis to go into the cities because then the other side would have an even fight. But they didn't. They just destroyed it from a distance. And so right now Israel could be potentially taking out a lot of stuff in Iran, causing a lot of more turmoil. So pay attention. Uh, hopefully this doesn't get into a situation uh, that's worse, especially with the oil prices. But you never know. But I'm you hear it first here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a change in the regime in Iran. And you might have it. It's just sort of a guess, just looking at intel, looking at facts, uh, and then just really just taking a guess. But hopefully that's what's going to happen. So be prepared. Make sure you're still prepping, keeping uh, stocking up on things that you're going to need. Things that you can't make are things that you need to stock. Thanks for watching.